In this video, I'll be demonstrating tips to optimize FPS and minimize input delay for a better gaming experience. I encourage you to stay tuned until the end of the video, where I'll be sharing a secret that pro players use to achieve stable FPS and really low input delay while being on the average computer specs. Okay, so before we get into the video, search up Restore Point, and then this will pop up. Just press create right here and then i'll create a restore point this essentially just like backs up everything in case anything goes wrong okay so for the first couple of things you can do to optimize your computer is pretty simple just go down to your search bar down here type in adjust and then this will pop up just press on it and this thing will pop up just disable everything uncheck everything besides the two that i have on Okay, so once you guys are done with that, head back down to the search bar and search up Xbox. And then find something that says enable Xbox game bar. Go in here and disable this, unless you're using the actual game bar, but I doubt many of you guys are using it. And if you guys are using this, I'd really recommend turning it off and stop using it because it does take away quite a lot of FPS. Okay, when you're done with that, again, head back down to the search bar and search up background apps this will pop up just press on it and you'll see a bunch of these apps they'll probably be on for you so just start disabling the ones you do not use all right so this is the last search up one for now just search up power and then you'll get this power and sleep settings press that and then go down here to additional power settings and this will pop up I got my PC tweaked by a professional tweaker, but you guys will probably have high performance or ultimate performance, so just press on either one of those. Alright, so once you guys are all done with that, just press anywhere on your desktop, and this stuff should appear. Just press NVIDIA control panel. Alright, so once this loads up, just go all the way up here to adjust image settings with preview, and use this option, the second one right here. After you got that, just go to manage 3D settings, and copy all of my settings down for the best performance. Okay, so now it's time to optimize some of the applications that you guys use. Make sure to join up my Discord server if you guys haven't, it's in the description down below. Anyways, just head over to your user settings and go all the way down to advanced. Right here, you wanna turn off hardware acceleration. This just uses your GPU to make Discord smoother, so just turn this off, you'll get more FPS. Okay, so the next thing is game overlay. Just disable this, unless you think it looks super cool or something. So the next thing is Spotify. Just go up here to settings and scroll all the way down until you see compatibility. And just disable hardware acceleration like you did in Discord. Okay, so the last application is Google Chrome. So just open up your Chrome, go up here, and press settings. And after that, go to the system tab. And turn off both of these okay after that search up system configuration and then this will pop up just press on it and then this will pop up just go over here to this boot tab and then go to your windows and press advanced options and then right here check number of processors and just put this all the way to the max okay so the next thing are ram tweaks just go down into the description and download the link and after, open this up and just double click on whatever amount of RAM you have. Okay, so another thing you guys can do for your RAM and lower your input delay is by downloading Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Okay, so I'll have the download link down in the description. So just go to the link and scroll down to the official download link right here. Okay, so once you guys download it, just double click and extract it. Once you're done extracting it, you should have a file like this. Just double click and then double click again on the first thing. Okay, so this should appear. And what you wanna do is put 1024 in this little box right here. And for this number down here, you just wanna basically like half your total system memory, which is up here. So I just basically half that. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. You can just estimate, it doesn't really matter. So I just put this number right here and after that you want to press you want to check this box for enable custom timer resolution and put this to 0 0.50 i'm pretty sure this is just going to make your response time 0 0.5 seconds instead of one 
So to start this, you just want to press purge standby list and then start. And that should be good. Just minimize it and you're all good. Okay, so this next tip just overclocks your GPU so you can get a little bit more performance out of it. Keep in mind this only works for NVIDIA users. Press the left alt and then Z. This should pop up, just go to performance and then enable automatic tuning. Make sure you have all applications or programs closed like I do just on the desktop and then enable this. This essentially just overclocks your GPU like I said and you just get a little bit more performance out of it. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys the best in-game settings for the best FPS. Okay, so once you guys are in settings, just make sure you guys are playing on full screen. This gives you the least amount of input delay. And if you want the least amount of input delay and more FPS, make sure you guys are playing on performance mode right here. So for the graphics quality settings, you want to make sure everything is basically on low or off. And your view distance, you can put it to medium if you want. Okay, so the last tip is what most pros use to get way more stable FPS and reduce input delay. This helps some pros to compete without having a godly PC. The last tip I have for you is to install and play on a custom operating system. Now this may require a bit of time and a USB stick with at least 8GB of storage. Essentially, a custom operating system is a version of Windows that has been tailored to remove bloatware and unnecessary programs from your computer. Bloatware is a term used to describe unwanted or hidden programs that can slow down your computer and negatively impact your gaming experience. The one I use is FoxOS and I'll have a video for the full guide in the description. If you plan on doing this, please make sure you do your research and you know what you're doing. This operating system has tweaks in the files, so this will really help you out a lot. Anyways, if anything helped you, please like and sub.